Good evening, Madam Chair and the board members that are present here, our EXCO uh, clients and other stakeholders, and uh, also the executive committee of the First Land Group. Um, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon as we celebrate another milestone on our journey of helpfulness and inclusive banking. FMB remains committed to meaningfully impacting people's lives by offering real help, which we do by providing accessible, affordable, innovative and contextual solutions and platform, as well as consistently delighting our customers in the experiences they have with us as a bank. Being the bank of the changeable, bringing imp about impactful, positive change in our society is what motivates us. Believing and driving this commitment daily is how we can help you to help yourself to help the world. We are committed to help build a, a globally competitive Namibia with an understanding of all the societal and economic challenges that we face as a country. Ladies and gentlemen, financial inclusion is widely recognized as an important cornerstone of improved economic and social outcomes. It allows individuals to manage their consumptions, payments, their savings, and ultimately to fully participate in the financial system and national economy. This is especially true for previously excluded groups such as the individuals in rural areas, uh, those are, who are unemployed or, or those who are employed in the informal sector. Financial inclusion also plays a key role in achieving the 2030 United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, or SG. DGC as they known, and has also been identified as an enabler of eight of the 17 SDGs that Namibia subscribes to. Yet the World Bank has found that 31% of adults globally do not own a basic transactional account, the initial step towards wider financial inclusion. The last FinScope study uh, in Namibia showed that tw in 2017, that was the last study, found that 22% of Namibians are, were not in or were excluded from financial system. So financial inclusion is therefore high on many countries' policy agenda, including our own country. It is certainly high on our strategic agenda as a bank. Our ambition and vision for the role we play in the economy will always expand to meet the needs of our customers in order to offer holistic, inclusive financial solutions as a trusted partner to the broader society. Digital adoption is key in addressing the gaps in financial inclusion. And our digital solution remain critical in extending banking services to the unbanked and underbanked population. Mobile-based financial services in particular are key to bringing the unbanked into the formal financial system. We are therefore committed to in to increasing the banking, bank population in Namibia through innovative digital solutions, which uh, provide low cost and convenient options. Our market leading and the most popular wallet, which is the e-wallet, today has got 1.3 million wallets. A testament to our commitment and our impact that we have in terms of financial inclusion. Now, the product that we are launching today, I believe, will yet uh, contribute significantly uh, to financial inclusion. Um, driven, driven by our aspiration to be a force for good, and no matter the circumstances, we will continue to navigate towards a future of shared prosperity for all, including financial inclusion and sound management, which in turn has profound impact on overall economic growth and community development in our country. Our focus over the past few years has been on developing strong customer-centric contextual integrated uh, services offering, which are underpinned by digitalization. We have invested substantially to introduce helpful digital innovations that move beyond just banking. Thanks to our experienced multidisciplinary teams, we are able to respond to these ever-increasing needs and we are extremely excited about the value that our new offering will unlock for our clients. With that, it gives me a great pleasure to officially introduce our first ever completed digital account, the FNB DigiPlus account.
Not, on, not only is a Digit Plus account a face for F&B, but the account application process is also unique to the market, made possible by our best in industry, digital and alternative banking channels. We realize that there is still scope to widen and deepen both the quality and extent of help and inclusion. And the DigiPlus account aims to make a real change in the industry, thus making our products and services more relevant and inclusive for our customers. I want to thank all the teams that have worked tirelessly to make this project a reality. You have shown true dedication and deep investment in our brand. You have made us proud. Thank you. So with those few words, thank you. Thank you once again for coming. And I will hand over to Jerome to take us further. Okay, so I mean, there's been a lot of rhetoric about DigiPlus, but what actually is DigiPlus? I hope everyone is intrigued. Um, we're going to see a short video on the screen that's going to explain just a little bit more about DigiPlus. Uh, thereafter, I'm going to just speak about the product, the functionality, and the ease of opening. Introducing the new FNB DigiPlus account. As easy as star 140 star 321 hash. Here's how to open an FNB DigiPlus account. First, you can visit your nearest FNB DigiPlus kiosk and ask for assistance. If you're a non-FNB customer and you would like to open the account yourself, make sure you have two Namibian dollars airtime and then dial star 140 star 321 hash. Select one to open a DigiPlus account. Select one to continue. Enter your ID number, enter your first name, enter your surname. Select one to accept terms and conditions or two to reject. You will now be requested to enter your cell phone banking PIN. Confirm your new PIN. Keep this PIN safe and don't share it with anyone. If you already bank with FNB, dial star 140 star 321 hash. Select zero to open a DigiPlus account. Select one to continue. Select one to accept terms and conditions or two to reject. With the FNB DigiPlus account, you can buy prepaid airtime and electricity, check your account balance, deposit and withdraw cash, and make payments. All of that for zero monthly fees, no cash deposit fees, and no queues. You can bank whenever and wherever you choose. The new FNB DigiPlus account. As easy as star 140 star 321 hash. The only thing I noticed as we were going through that uh, video is that no one had their phone out. Okay, that being said, um, I'm just going to speak a little bit about the product uh, and just give you some background as to um, you know, our overall commitment towards the product. Uh, so the product is 100% self-originating, but unfortunately due to some regulatory requirements around KYC, uh, we are still obliged to collect KYC documents from our customers. As such, uh, FNB has um, established 14 off-site activation sites, similar to this one, as well as a further 30 sites outside our branches. So these sites will serve to facilitate the KYC process for our new-to-bank customers. Existing-to-bank customers, of course, will not be subject to this KYC process. The longer-term vision for the product, of course, will, in, will ensure that uh, we will not have to physically collect these ID documents, but I believe this is also something that will be addressed a little later in the closing remarks by Nongola. FNB has a, FNB has a, a, you know, a deep commitment towards the you know, ongoing success of the product as well as financial inclusion. As such, we've ensured that this is actually going to be the cheapest transactional product as part of our product set. As mentioned in the video, there are zero monthly account fees and customers will only be charged on a per transaction basis. But at the same time, the fees charged on a per transaction basis are going to be significantly cheaper than what you would be paying on your traditional FNB uh, product, further underlining our commitment to financial inclusion. The product though does have some constraints one of the constraints on the product is a daily monthly balance limit of 5,000 Namibian dollars 
As such, your monthly balance will not exceed $5,000 Namibian dollars, as well as a monthly velocity limit of $25,000 Namibian dollars. So should your account be credited with more than $25,000 Namibian dollars within a 30-day period, your account will be blocked and you'll be asked to go into a branch where you'll be directed to upgrade your account to a fully KYC product that can offer you uh, enhanced and further functionality. I think, uh, you know, what's been mentioned here is quite exciting when looking at, you know, the product suite and what is available in the Namibian market with respect to transactional banking. To my mind, I, I believe I've touched on everything with respect to DigiPlus and the functionality. And I'd like to invite uh, Nangulo Kaluma, the executive uh, for retail banking, to the stage for some closing remarks. So, observing the protocol that has already been established, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This day has been one in the making for quite some time now, quite some time, because sometimes good things take time to, to come together. But that said, we're absolutely dis delighted to finally reach this point of unveiling this truly market-leading solution. It's actually one of those that it's interesting because we often either create our own products or we tailor them to be relevant to our local market, but we're the first in the group. Am I correct? We are the first in the group. And when I say the group, not just the first round Namibia group, the whole of first round to bring something like this to life. So we're incredibly proud. And so if you find us bragging, I apologize in advance. <laughs> The French writer Anatole France once said, the rarest courage is the courage of thought. Innovation doesn't happen on its own and seldom does it happen without deep and critical thinking as a starting point. Sometimes this thinking might be considered contrarian, incredible, and at times even ludicrous when it happens well ahead of its time. After all, who doesn't know of a legendary inventor from long, 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 long ago um, who was ahead of their time and might have even been called, I mean, there was a whole group of them called mad scientists. However, these so-called mad scientists left us things that we still use today in our common lives, our modern everyday, but we don't even think about it, we take it for granted, we don't even think about where they came from. So, but it starts with the quality of the thinking. So it, it also needs to be said that innovation and trailblazing generally at this scale doesn't happen without significant investments, intellectual, financial, and human, to name a few. You know, we have to business case the stuff. It doesn't come cheap financially, but also the human effort time intellectual and manual labor that goes into bringing something like this to life is uh, it's not a small feat. So, I mean, can I say <laughs> R&D pipelines? I'm sure you know what those are. <laughs> and true to unconventional form, as we do at FNB, I'd like to take this opportunity and not at the end, because at the end, it's always just like, a, oh, by the way, I want to take this opportunity in the middle of my remarks to say a heartfelt thank you to all of you my colleagues who've been part of this unbelievably extensive, long, exciting, at sometimes challenging. Yeah, these things, there's a little bit of sometimes. Um, but we always pull it together. And most importantly, the journey has been purposeful. If I must say, it's a very, it was a very diverse group of people working on this. There's no piece of our operational value chain as a as a business and even as a group that wasn't involved. So even though it's been the journey that it's been, I think we've found ways to connect and work incredibly collaboratively, new connections forged, and, and out of this, certainly new ways of working that we never went into the process even imagining would, would come out. 
So I'm not going to list everyone. I'm trying to see, not wearing glasses. I can see Rodney, Conrad, Irvin, I'm missing. Okay, it's dangerous to name people. But in any event, please to you, big thank you and to your teams, and absolutely much appreciated. Our innovation track record in delivering affordable, easy, and convenient banking speaks for itself. I was going to talk about bragging, but I don't think that is necessary. We can do it with humility. Besides playing competitively in the years of the then revolutionary Bob Card and ATMs, who was so excited to have their first Bob Card? And was so excited, Mommy, Mommy, can I put it in? <laughs> mommy, Mommy, what is the number? <laughs> I'm not the only one, right, Samantha? <laughs> <laughs> so we, we were playing strongly in the game at that point in time. And I mean, that must have been the 1980s. I, I, I actually didn't think to find the actual stat, everything else's stats, but I recall it must have been mid 1980s, somewhere around then. I'm sure Rodney or some of our other colleagues <laughs> might know. Um, but we have a track record. We have continuously, continuously brought innovative exciting, useful solutions to the market. Our customers love what we bring. They tell us. They rave about us. Do we get it perfect all the time? No. We're still human beings running a business, so I'm not going to stand here and say also that we are perfect, but if you talk to just about anyone and they have had an experience of, no, no, my branch is here. This is my branch. If they've experienced this app, they, they, apparently there's nothing like it. I haven't tried, I haven't necessarily tried others, but I'm told it's, it's not like none other. So what we've done in the last, just to name a few, it's not the only ones, but cell phone banking or mobile banking, we brought to life 2006. App launched in 2013. Got my dates a little mixed up and e-wallet in 2012. So e-wallet 2012, app 2013. And rewards we brought to the market in 2017. Our more recent and somewhat revolutionary for this part of the world solutions came in with our cash at till and in-store cash solutions. So you can redeem an e-wallet at a point of sale device. You can, um, you can make a payment. And you can also, depending on the, on the merchant, when you do your shopping and you really don't feel like going to wait in a line, or the ATM maybe is not right where you are, you can say, I'd like an additional 300 or an additional 500, and that you swipe for one time. So I, I, I think we are, I think we're well placed to say that we are definitely a proven market leader in this country as uh, the most innovative bank. FNB has certainly demonstrated commitment, capability, and willingness to enable financial inclusion. And one point I find gets lost quite a bit is that we assume that we almost equate financial literacy with financial inclusion. That is not the case. Financial literacy is like going to school for your grade 12 and going to study on its own, so it's the theory and the learning. But for that learning to become real and to be embedded, it cannot happen if the actual products and the modalities to access and use them are not in place. So once you actually can bring the products, the modalities, and the relevant solutions to a customer who has now become financially literate, that's where we can get to the really powerful place of financial capability. It's clear from what's been shared today that as the bank of the changeables, we understand that delivering shared value and bringing about positive change requires courage. Back to Anatol. It, re it requires courage for deep thinking, unrelenting commitment to innovation, and fundamentally doing our part each and every day in building a better today and, a m and tomorrow for our nation. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, Nangula. 
Okay, uh, so that brings to the end our program, but not necessarily the evening. Uh, but before I close, um, I'd just like to add one or two additional remarks. So you'll note that uh, to the left of me, or on your right, there's a store branded FNB DigiPlus kiosk. So this kiosk can be used in the event that any individuals here, of which I hope there are none, do not bank with FNB and wish to open up a DigiPlus. So all existing to bank customers do not have to make use of a kiosk, but new to bank customers, should they dial the dial string now and open up an account, uh, would have to approach the kiosk uh, to just provide a, uh, a, to have a picture of your ID taken. And thereafter, the hard hold on your account will be lifted and you'll be able to transact immediately. Yeah. Okay, and then the other thing that I'd just like to encourage everyone is that with respect to the product, uh, please do watch this space. Um, it's going to be a product that will undergo continuing innovation as it, the solution matures. And also please do feel free to grab a leaflet and a brochure outside on the desk as you entered um, when you do leave here and feel free to you know, uh, discuss with confidence the solution as it's officially launching in the market today. With that being said, uh, please do feel free to um, have uh, something to drink, uh, this juice, wine, beer at the back, as well as some food. Okay, cheers, thank you.